Hello everybody and welcome to JGod Gaming. Today's video I'm going to be breaking down two separate subscriber gameplay and basically giving different tips and tricks on how to improve. If you do enjoy the video in any way, remember to hit that like button. I do have a goal of 150 likes. If you can help me out with that, that would be awesome. And then also when it comes down to content on the channel, I typically cover all Call of Duty news related to in-game updates, best class setups, subscriber breakdowns like you're going to see today, and then also other tip and trick videos. If that sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe with those notifications on. What we'll do is get into the first gameplay, and typically what I like to do is chop it up a little bit and kind of point out key things that they're doing or that are continued themes throughout the actual gameplay. So gameplay is not going to be a full match on either one. More used to emphasize these key points and then they can actually work on and the things they do really well. So what we're going to do is look at this first gameplay. It's Team Death Match on Aachen. And the first part that we're going to actually start is with the class setup. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how they could actually maximize this a little bit more and then also maybe change some things up and allow them to get more kills, less deaths, and actually just improve as an overall player. So when we take a look at the class setup, it's not too bad. He got armored and then he got the STG, which is a very reliable weapon. He's using advanced rifling, which is pretty good on this map just because the ranges are beyond that 50 meters. But on most typical maps, you're not going to really need that. And then he has the extended mags, which is pretty nice. But he's actually running steady aim, which in this particular gameplay, maybe he gets one kill and it doesn't even really help him that much. Because this gun doesn't uh, perform too poorly at that hip fire range. And for their basic training, they're using Hustle, which for pretty much the entire match didn't really help them at all once. So while we're going to talk a little bit about how changing some of these things up will help, but let's go ahead and get into some of the gameplay examples and I'll give you the best class setup for this player. Like I did mention already, this player actually moves around very smartly around the map, positions, moves pretty slowly around the map. So it doesn't really put themselves in bad situations for the most part. Uh, except for one that we'll see later on but let's get to the first example so in this first example he actually makes it through kills a guy comes through their spawn and then right here he's in position where he's kind of just peeking it out he knows he's in enemy territory he gets shot at but instead of going and looking at the direction he actually focuses right here and he ends up getting killed from the flank so anytime you get shot at you got to kind of may mainly focus on that obviously he took a look around to see what was going on for the most part he put himself in a bad situation by actually pursuing someone who wasn't even looking at him didn't know he was there Instead of the guy who literally shot at him, there's no reason anyone's going to shoot at you. There was no teammate around you. So ideally, you really want to switch that up so that you can focus on where the threat is coming from, which sometimes a little bit difficult to do when you see somebody not even looking at you, an easy kill. So this next scenario, there's a couple different decisions that can be made, and then there's a lot of information given. So right here, you should know that all the enemies are coming from their spawn. Obviously, he didn't know they'd all come through at once, but he could have kind of backed up, put himself in a little bit better position. But right here, this initial spawn right here and his teammate spawn right next to him, that tells them a lot of information. That tells them an enemy is somewhere in this spawn area. There might even be a couple because they didn't allow him to spawn in one of the main spawns. So you got to be aware of that. And he ends up getting shot in the back right here. And he should have been a little bit more aware that, hey, there's someone in our spawn. That's why we didn't spawn in the right location. So you, that's a little bit of information. A lot of times you're not realizing when you spawn in, pay attention to where you're spawning at. If you're not spawning at the main spawn that you spawn at 99% of the time, that should definitely be a red flag that someone is in your spawn that's not supposed to be. So that's going to be it for this particular player's breakdown. Pretty short and simple. They made a lot of smart moves. They have pretty good gun skill. They don't miss very many shots. Their accuracy seems on point. So there's a lot of things that they're doing really well. The tips that I do have is probably changing up the class setup a little bit. I'd get rid of the steady aim and swap it out either for grip, rapid fire, or high caliber because all three of those will allow you to be a little bit more consistent get faster kills which allow you to win more gunfights whereas steady aim only works when you're hip firing and someone's really close to you which for this play style i really didn't feel was necessary so i would definitely drop that for one of those other alternatives when it comes to basic trainings i would definitely switch that up to either ordnance or blitzkrieg because either one of those is going to get you a little bit faster streaks right you're running the recon cool you're running the glide bomb because it gets you about one kill and then the artillery i would drop that completely for a fighter pilot and if you don't get a lot of kills with the fighter pilot, I would definitely watch my fighter pilot tutorial. I'll leave that in the description so you get a chance to check that out because it is pretty helpful in getting those fighter pilot kills. And you don't have to take my word for it. Actually go to your combat record, look at your score streaks and then see what your average ratio of kills to uses is. And the fighter pilot will more than likely be higher than the artillery barrage. I would just definitely go check that out if you haven't already. And I recommend that for anyone watching the video. If you're actually running artillery over a fighter pilot, it's a huge mistake because you can probably average two to three kills with the fighter pilot because artillery was maybe one. And the last thing which I kind of already touched on, which is that map awareness to really just pay attention to where you're spawning. Because for the most part, you had really good map knowledge. I watched you, how you played, how you position yourself based off your teammates, based off your enemies. Map control was a huge important part. 
So definitely just keep it up and you should be seeing a lot more success with some of those minor changes. We're about to get into the second player's gameplay. If you're enjoying the video so far, remember to hit that like button. A goal of 150 likes is the goal. So if you can help me out with that, like I said, be very helpful. If you are new to the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button with notifications on. Let's go ahead and get into the second gameplay. So for this subscriber's gameplay, we're also going to be breaking down that class setup. They're going to be running armored with scope, and then they're going to be running the PPSH with grip, suppressor, and rapid fire. What I noticed throughout this gameplay is that they probably just need to drop scope. They probably need to take suppressor out of their class setup. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that throughout the video. But those are two recommendations right off the bat that I would recommend. So let's go ahead and get into some examples. The first thing you will notice on the opening rush that I think a lot of times people have this mistake, especially when they have nades to throw, they actually throw a nade before it hits the 950 mark in a match. It will give you a warning saying it does reduce damage and you don't want a nade to do reduce damage. You want to hit somebody, you're gonna kill them unless they're running armor. So you can see right there, explosive reduce damage for those first four seconds. So that's a huge problem. Right here also what you're gonna see is they sit in the middle way too long. And general rule of thumb is you don't ever wanna sit in the middle of a map for way too long just because there's too many sight lines. Literally he could be shot from the back from three different angles, from the front from two different angles. And it looks like there's a little bit of opening back right behind him and then there's someone right in front of him. As soon as he walks out, he ends up getting shot in the back. No mistake, he was in the middle of the map. Another common mistake I see is when they hear an enemy streak coming in, they run towards teammates. You can see three teammates converge. Luckily, he didn't get hit by that actual glide bomb. But at the end of the day, you should have been nowhere near your teammates. You need to avoid teammates and get to cover. Anytime there's a glide bomb coming in, fighter plane, because you don't want to make it easy for the enemy. You don't want them to get a triple kill, and that'll allow them to get to their next streak. Just don't want that, so it's easily avoidable. Run away from teammates if any of those are coming in, and then also decrease your chances of getting hit. These next couple examples go back to map awareness. Look where all his teammates are. They're all in front of him, so he shouldn't even be aiming at this right side. Ends up getting shot by the guy coming around the corner. It's definitely his mistake. All the enemy teams should be coming on the left side. So immediately after he spawns in, same scenario happens. You can see right here where all of his teammates are. They're on right in front of him, so that means enemies can only be behind him. That's just one of the things you gotta be aware of. Where's my teammates? Where are the enemies? Let me reposition, get in the right spot. Since this player opted to not have extended mags, they gotta really pay attention to their ammo capacity. Right now they're at 22. They're gonna shoot this guy, get 15, and look how long it takes for them to reload. So right here, they're just kind of maneuvering around the map, moving around smartly. I would've probably gone to the side right here, made sure I reload before I jump up. Still only has 15 bullets. What if he runs into two people? Odds are he's probably gonna get killed just because if you're not accurate enough to get him right away, you're gonna have to reload. So look at still 15 bullets. Still hasn't reloaded. Not once, still running around. Plenty of safe times to do it. Still running around 15 magazine. So if they do this pretty often on other maps, they probably get caught off guard, end up getting killed. Right here, six bullets decides to reload when there's enemies nearby. So if he would already have that full magazine, he probably could have pushed through, end up getting an extra kill. So that's definitely something I wanted to point out. Then the other thing is you can see right there above their ammo, it says attach suppressor. This is the entire match. They did not equip the suppressor once. So basically they wasted an attachment for the entire match. It's cool if you want to take it on and off and choose it situationally, but they didn't use it at all. It's cool if you want to leave it on the entire time, but it's not cool to equip it and never use it. That's just definitely a wasted attachment. So definitely somehow it fix. They could fix that as soon as possible. Easily I would just swap that out for extended mags and then they would have an extended mags class set up with grip and rapid fire, which is good. Or they could even swap out that rapid fire for advanced rifling depending on the map. Obviously this is a smaller map, so you don't really need that. So it's just really a case by case. For the most part, they shouldn't even have a suppressor equipped because they never use it. So let's go ahead and continue with some of the other recommendations. They don't really use scoped at all. They do walk around ADS a lot when they do play, but they're not really strafing a lot. So they're kind of wasting it. And a good rule of thumb in general is you should really only use scoped on rifles because you want to be able to have that additional strafing since their strafing is reduced further than SMGs. Most SMGs move at the same rate a rifle does with scope. So there's no really reason in running that. It's almost like you have scoped already just by the fact that you're using an SMG. So I would definitely drop that and either put Ordnance or Blitzkrieg or any other basic training that'll allow you to get more kills and less deaths. So overall, I'd say this player is actually pretty decent as well. They, they move around the map making minor errors here and there. Just really about practicing, getting consistency, and focusing on those different things. And then the other part is just making a class setup that works for you. You're gonna see right here, they're gonna end up equipping the suppressor for the first time in the entire match when the match is basically over. Not a lot that needs fixing, but minor fixes will go a long way with this player. So if you guys did enjoy the video, remember 150 likes is the goal. So if you can help me out with that, be very appreciated. Obviously still watching, you should probably subscribe because you're enjoying the content. So make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications on. See you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching as always. Have a great day.